Alex Silva here. Some of you might know me as Viewer Guy. Wise man once said, every child is an artist, but how to remain an artist when you grow up? 3D architectural visualization is more than art, because it involves a big variety of technical skills, like design, photography, architecture, and also a variety of artistic approach, like understanding of light and color composition. So how do you remain an artist when you grow up? when you must learn to handle so many tasks. To be a professional 3D artist is not an easy task, but I believe that everything that have to do in becoming a pro 3D artist starts right up here. Like every art, it needs dedication and practice. But with such big variety of skills, you need to spend two lives in order to master each one of them properly. The key here is to know exactly what the skill you need to practice in every adjustable lifetime situation. No, and I'm not talking about sitting all day long in front of the computer. This will not bring you as much forward as those tips that I'm going to share with you now. One and the most important tool is your visual library. And it's not the one on your computer, and it's also not the collection magazine that you have. It's the one inside your head. You probably have one of those already. Just try to remember that moment when you saw a beautiful light coming from the window inside your room, or a beautiful sunset or a sunrise that colored the sky in amazing colors, and you just stood there and observed the beauty of nature being revealed in front of your eyes. Yes, I'm talking about those images. These are the most valuable fragments of your mind library, because they have been created on the emotional level, and they are here to stay forever in your memory. And the most beautiful thing about this, you can pull them from your library anytime you want. So the bigger your library, the more references you have. Consider it as a working tool, okay? Big libraries like that create a deeper understanding for every lifetime situation that you're trying to recreate. Interior or exterior, it doesn't matter. The understanding comes from the feeling that you're trying to reproduce and not from copying some reference of a magazine, which also can be good, but never will replace what's in your mind. So practice your observation, stare at the beautiful frames, try to stop for a moment and see it, capture it and say that's a beautiful picture. Don't just look at the light, stare at it. Give your mind a few seconds to capture the moment and store it in your brain's library. If you have camera with you, it's even better. You can take a picture, bring it home, and analyze the colors, the lighting, and the relationship between them. Practicing real DSLR reflex camera would be one of the best trainings to improve your understanding of very physical camera. After all, it all works the same. So if you can adjust your reflex camera settings for taking a good picture, you can also do it in 3D. Just keep that piece of advice in your mind while going through the everyday lifetime routine. Another great way to improve your 3D images is to have a deeper understanding of light behavior. And the best practice is to try to recreate what you see. In other words, try to draw the light. Well, for some of you that may be a hard task to make. But let's go to my computer and I'll show you some easy practice that you can start from. Alright, so here I am at the Google. I've typed pencil painting light tutorial, clicked on the images and uh, scroll down a little bit to find this nice looking image. As you see here it's a simple sphere with the shadowed area right here and the light source is coming from him, uh, from the left and creating this, uh, this nice looking shadow. And uh, we can also see the characteristics, the basic characteristics of the object as a highlight right here just because of this uh, spot directing to the light source, we got a mid-tone right here, we got shadows right here, and got also the reflection as a result of the secondary bounce, the light being bounced from the surface, being back to the model, uh, to the object, and creating this uh, highlighted reflection illumination. Um, as you see here, we also got a casted shadows that being uh, distributed not uniformly, so uh, this is basically uh, what you should Pay attention while you watching and observing your uh, objects outside. It doesn't have to be sphere; it can be every other uh, shaped model, shaped object. But the same principles being applied to to the sun and to every object in our world. So, if you are interested in improving your skills and having deeper understanding of the light behavior, 
uh, you can do the simple tutorial and here is a drawing sphere tutorial if you click on this link you can go and see different photos of a real object uh, being photographed and how the shadows being occluded and been created so uh, just keep that in mind while creating while painting your model uh, your object you'll be, you're actually getting more deeper understanding of how the things how the shadows being uh, applied in our real world okay so this is how you remain an artist you just think and live your life as an art and you take advantage of every life situation to draw inspiration and to practice your eye vision for natural colors and lighting. Your mind is the most important tool in your everyday creation. Use it at its best. And don't lose that artist inside of you. Open your eyes and let them see. This was Alex, your Viray Guide. Talk soon. Ciao.